Welcome to the second video illustrating the block series end-to-end -end scenario using BOPF, Sardle, Gateway and SubUI 5. My name is Tia Hillenbrand and I guide you through the backend data model. The target application is a product maintenance one and it is using product and business partner attributes. We are going to use the BOPF EPM demo sample, thus a BOPF demo implementation of the product and the business partner. BOPF is integrated in the ABAP development tools for Eclipse, so we start opening ADT. Here we are in the package BOPF VPM and select the product BO. Navigating to the nodes of the BO, we see that the product consists of two nodes, the root node and the product name node. Let's first navigate to the persistent data structure of the root node. The persistent data structure is defined in the ABAP dictionary. We can see that the root node has the elements product ID, category, supplier ID, and price of currency. Almost all what we need of the product. Only a readable product name is missing. In the node overview page, we have seen the node product name. So most probably we will find it there. And indeed, no surprise, there's an element product name. But you can also see that it depends on the language. So with respect to our gateway service, we need a join with a filter condition. Fortunately, the BOP data model supports this join by offering a language association. A language association is a special composition which is implemented by a BOP library class filtering the instances with the system language by default. So far so good for the product. But what about the business partner data? The product BO offers a foreign key association to the business partner. It is a zero to one association, exactly what we need. We follow the association to the target BO, the business partner root node. We find some of the data we want to display on the detail page of the UI, like company name and legal form. But the address is not contained in this node. A company may have different addresses, so it is a 2N composition. But which address should we select? The data model offers a foreign key relationship to the main address. This address is what we need for the application. We follow the association, a 0 to 1 association, And here we are, the persistent data structure of the address node contains all the missing elements like city, postal code, email, and so on. To summarize this video, the data model of the BOPF EPM product, its nodes, and the associated business objects offer the data we need, and it offers the navigation path to select it. The product name specialization, the business partner and address foreign key associations. All these relationships have the cardinality to one, which is necessary for a flat result structure in the gateway service.